while King Charles has a foot in and a foot out with Prince Harry. Prince William has taken a more serious and permanent decision with his brother. In the almost four years since arriving in California, Prince Harry has told the world everything they did not want to know about the heir to the throne. The Duke claimed his older brother is a violent man, who has physically and emotionally attacked him over the years. William was deemed an unfit father who was not doing enough to protect his children. Against the pain and suffering from the air-spare dynamic that existed within the British monarchy, Prince Harry also dragged Prince William's wife, Princess Catherine, under the bus by confirming that she made Meghan Markle cry. Catherine and King Charles were inadvertently accused of being the royal racists who made insensitive comments about Prince Archie before he was born. Fed up with all that his brother has said and done, Prince William has decided to officially cancel Prince Harry, according to one royal expert. It is all but certain that Prince William has disowned his brother and replaced him with someone else. Prince Harry has officially been replaced by Mike Tyndall, the husband of Prince William's cousin, Zara. He proved how much he has blended in the royal family as they all gathered in Sandringham, in Norfolk, for the annual Christmas holiday. The telegraph revealed, Mike Tyndall threw an affectionate arm. Iron Prince William's son George. When the royals greeted well-wishers at Sandringham on Christmas Day, abandoning formality, Tyndall once again resembled the jolly uncle at a family do, who can be relied upon to liven up proceedings. The media outlet went on to reveal how important Mike Tyndall has become for Prince William, in the absence of Prince William's actual brother. The California-dwelling Duke of Sussex, the former England rugby star has, to some extent, come to fill the void, to allow the heir to the throne to truly relax and to be someone he can confide in. Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter added that the friendship and brotherhood exist between Prince William and Mike Tyndall because they have many things in common, the royal expert stated. Mike is a pretty straight guy, he's down to earth. And William is too, put aside William's role in state occasions, where he has to maintain a certain decorum, the rest of the time. If he goes to a rugby or football match he's in there cheering with the rest of the fans. Both Prince William and Tyndall are likable guys. And Zara's long-standing closeness to her cousin has rubbed off on her husband. We've seen this time and again in William and Mike's interactions. They are a proper family, they're not playing at it, they are two peas from the same part. They've just had different upbringings.